Hi guys, welcome back to another little Geeky Reviews. We are going to go through the Chaos Snake Attack from the He-Man of Masters of the Universe this time round. I don't really collect this line, per se. I have bought a couple of the figures like He-Man and Skeletor and stuff in the past. But my Origins, which is my main line, is a bit with the snake layer not coming out. I thought King Hiss needed... A little bit of something to go on the shelf with them all so I've seen this on Amazon so I thought I'll crack it open with you and have a little closer look so the box so it's pretty basic it's not like the origins type of art it is literally got two different features I think that's just with the snake really um, Flipping the tail, I think one of the figures, if they were sitting on the throne, it does pop off as well. But we'll have a little closer look, like I say, together with that one. I usually uh, keep all the boxes, especially for the Origins, but not with this type. So it comes in four separate type of pieces so it comes in four pieces one of them is the whole base with the little stairs coming up and also the snake which is in like a little baggy and then you've got this little thing that must clip on the end obviously you've got the throne as well and then the little tail piece and instructions it's also got some little stickers within it as well uh. so the next part is this tail piece and um, I think just slots on and clicks there. This base will just slot on as well. And then the throne. There is just little peggy holes on the top there. <coughs> Clunk click. So there's a little switch on the tail where it says villain mode. <laughs> and once you click that, it comes up in this type of pose like so and then you've got the mouth where it clunk clicks it down as well and if I just bring it round it's got its little tongue there where if you ow that kind of <laughs> if you just push that lever down it will clamp straight onto your figure so let's get some couple of figures in and see what this thing looks like on display. <coughs> in the base, there is also like a little peg hole where you can stand your figure actually in, which is really a good little add-on there. So you're supposed to slide this. Let's just get them in position slide it doesn't even let's see ah. well <laughs> that's just Fiss's head in there clunk you raise them up Oh, 
I mean, for what it's worth, it looks all right. Playability, I suppose not so much. Unless I am doing everything wrong with this slider. But the mouth feature is quite good on the actual snake itself. Now it's got raise this button on the tail over here to hero mode and once you lift the actual snake up let's, let's see and pull it back it will release the figure from the clip thrown as well I mean, just some more little detail there. It's got all these like little purple sprayed skulls. They are actually either side of it as well. The actual throne detailing. If we just bring the camera in a bit more. It's got quite of a cool design on the back of the throne. But cute little display for what it's worth. Let me know your thoughts. I mean, there is some little stairs. They are too narrow to put any figure on. Round the other side as well. It's got the same type of stairs with these like electric bolty slimy things going down. But like I say, I only bought it for a display piece. But let me know your thoughts in the comments. Am I actually using it right? <laughs> I don't know. But if you like these videos, do us a favour. Drop us a like. Drop us a sub. Tickle that little bell notification so you don't miss out on any others. But thanks for checking in on this one. And I will see you on the next. Take care.